But then, if, yes. so if we go back to, so the, the guys, were, were they Europeans who came with the track? Because it was, it wasn't, it was, it was more like a, something like Celine Dion would do or David which, Foster. Which track are you talking about? Don't Let Go. So when you, oh, you no, would... no, this was, um, so Sylvia Ron, our, our label head came to us and said, um, I have a song since you guys are in between albums. We were just getting ready to do what the EV3 album. So this was after, you know, Born to Sing, Funky Divas, and Runaway Love, and, and we were in between, and she said, there's a song that I think is incredible. You guys make it a hit. Uh, it's called Don't Let Go, and it was written by Organized Noise, who okay. is Rico, Rico Wade uh, and Organized Noise, and um, the writers, actually, of the song, he produced it, the music, and he had his team of people produce the music, but the writers for the song was Andrea Martin and uh, Ivan Batias. Um and they just had this incredible song. I knew, I loved it right away. Uh, I think Cindy and Maxine loved it too. And Terry was the only one kind of fighting against it. Because anytime we would get a song that was not Denny and Tommy's song, she did not like it very much. She would fight against it. And I'm like, okay, Terry, just because he's your man doesn't mean that he always has hits for us. Like, there's other people that can write for us too. Mm -hmm. um, we had done Solid Night with Chucky Booker. It was a Christmas uh -huh. song. So we had hits with other people, you know, um, and she just kind of fought it. So we had to really kind of force her hand with that song. Like, this is a hit. We're going to record it. You know, there's three against one. So she had to sing it. And um, it turned out to be our biggest hit to date. Well, see if you know this one. song which was uh, nominated for a Grammy it was something that I was messing around with in the studio in my room had this loop on <laughs> and Cool Breeze was sitting there trying to write to it Rico had this vision he heard this shit and he's like damn it'd be dope for them both I said, get the fuck out of here, man, for real. They can't sing on that shit. That shit's hip-hop as hell. You can't sing on that. This nigga writing a verse. What you talking about? Like, he, he writing a verse over here. He said, no, nah, man, no, no, no. I'm telling you, like, like that, that could be some involved shit. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of guided me where I needed to go. And uh, it's a chance to go in there. Uh, so I went in there and started fooling around with the piano, and, and that's how we came up with the song. I had to really say that that was totally not what I saw, but totally what needed to be. And so I got to appreciate your genius on that because I wouldn't have, I would have done a safer thing, you feel me, if it was coming totally from me. Because we have three minds working together, we are able most of the time to to be outside of where one person can be at and, and, and actually appeal to more people. I think it's it's after, uh, after I think after they did Waterfall and, and Vogue record that was on the Set It All soundtrack. That so kind of really blew all the doors off the hinges, you know? But whose idea was it that you, you, you would, how does it work when it comes to who sings lead and how it does? Was it the producers that, that, that's, that, that, or, yeah. or what was, okay. Yeah, a lot of times it's them because they think some, after hearing us over the years, like Denny and Tommy knew what we sounded like. So they would always say, okay, Dawn, you're going to sing this one. Terry on this one, Maxine, Cindy. So, um, but with other people, because they knew our sound, they would say, okay, automatically, I think Dawn would be great for this. Oh, no, I think Maxine would be better on this song. Or Cindy's voice really fits the song. So that's how they would do it. Um, and with Don't Let Go, it was that way. They thought that I would sound good singing lead. And then the record company came in and said... We don't want Dawn to sing lead because she's going to be leaving the group. Oh, well. Yeah. Hey, uh... Too soon, it would all end. I live in misery. 